You know, we all deserve to be happy. And the truth is, most of us are not aware of how to bring happiness to our life. And so today I'm going to talk to you about what I've been doing to be happier and just start enjoying life again. And so in case you don't know me, my name is Jason. And today's a great day. I'm doing great and I see great things for you today also. And so you may be asking, like, okay, Jason, so how are you making yourself happy? The way I'm making myself happier is I'm focusing on my self-image. And this is something... A lot of times when we hear this word, we we just believe that we know what it means. And I was guilty of that for a long time, even, I would say even up to this year. Um, I really thought I knew what my self-image was, how I had a grasp of it, had a hold of it. And I thought I was being happy, but the truth was I wasn't because my self-image self wasn't completely surrounded around myself. Meaning... I was still looking for, I was looking towards Cece, my, uh, my late wife. I was looking for her to make me happy a lot of times. I, it wasn't just from within me. And <clears throat> I feel like this is one of the, the last lessons that she really helped teach me with her being brave enough to leave. And it re I had to really come to the terms of what makes Jason happy? What do I want in my life? What do I want for my life? I don't like being depressed. I know what that feeling feels like. I know what it does to my body and been there, done that. So I was like, I can't just keep sitting around, walking around depressed. I need to really define my self image. So this past couple of months, what you don't see from the outside looking in is I've been doing a lot of internal work, uh, psychological work, really breaking down my subconscious mind and understanding what is in there, what things are in there that I don't need what things do I want to be in there to be the person that I want to be? And so between doing that and also with microdosing, now, if you're not familiar with microdosing, it is something that is really, really beneficial. It's, there's Most of the science out there is lies. I'm just going to be honest with you. Most of the people who are doing videos talking about microdosing, they're not microdosing. They're just people who play around with mushrooms or play around with psilocybin products or even LSD. And that's not who I am. I am someone who wants to be a better person. I want to keep growing. I want to keep uh, developing myself. I want to keep learning new things about myself and understanding and having other experiences in this life. Uh, I'm not someone who wants to be sick or just miserable or complaining all the time. I want to see the world for the beauty that it really is. And microdosing has helped me a lot with my self-image. And this is one of the ways it helped me is it helped me just start focusing more. So this past couple of months, I've really been doing a lot of internal work, uh, going deep, fighting some of my own personal demons, and really just being honest with myself. Like, hey, am I being an asshole today? And there was a few times I had to really ask, tell myself, like, hey, you being an asshole today, man. You need to act better. Like, just because of whatever happened in January 23rd, it's not today. So I don't have the right to just keep carrying around and abusing other people mentally um, or just being rude to people just because of something that I'm keep self I'm self inflicting on myself being a victim. And it was really interesting because like the other day, two days ago, I was uh, doing the mushrooms and I doing a, was doing a real long meditation, uh, which is something I've been able to get back into is meditating. Uh, it took me about three months to get back into it. And I used to meditate like two hours every day. And so I was doing like an hour long meditation and I just had this vision. It was just me. I was just in a house. I didn't know the house. Well, I wasn't aware of where I was at. And there was a person in front of me. And then they just disappeared and another person came. And it shocked me because it was, it was very vivid. Like I felt it. I felt that person disappearing, another person come through. And it freaked me out for a little bit. Like I was like, oh shoot, like am I, am I doing too much? And then I really started uh, doing some uh, inter uh, talking, uh, reflecting on myself. And I came to the conclusion that, you know what? That was me talking to myself, explaining like, I can change my self image at a moment's notice. I can change the image that I'm holding on to myself. Like I'm not a widower or whatever the word is. I'm not someone who, you know, I don't have a late wife. Cece is still alive. She's just in a different form. Um, whether you believe in that or not, that's your own personal belief. Uh, that's my belief, and that was a belief that she shared with me at the time. Um, but, like, going through those and actually talking through that, I started realizing, I was like, 
I can even be a better person. I can show up better. What more can I do in this world? Like, how can I bring happiness to this world instead of just walking around like a miserable bum? Miserable bum? Like, nobody want to be around miserable, miserable people. And that's why they say misery loves company. And <clears throat> so one of the things I've been doing, I've been uh, journaling. Like, I have my gold card that I uh, wrote out, printed out today. Um, one of the other things that you don't see that I'm doing on a daily basis is, like, I journal... Here we go. Okay, there we go. So like I do this every day. This one's from the 17th. And you can just keep saying like every day I journal, I write down a vision statement, which talks about uh, my higher faculty of imagination, getting the things that I want. Then I go through my goal. It's the same thing. It's actually on my goal card that I carry with me. And then I go through and I do 10 things that I'm grateful for. And then one of the things that I'm doing at night, I do a mix of things like what do I want to be like how do I want to show up in this world I write a list of that before I go to sleep and also I write down who I am like how am I am with my business what am I doing why am I investing in real estate in South Africa you know the things that are my goals and so like one of the things I realize is one of my goals is I want to be able to provide luxury affordable apartment homes for people who are up level whether they're single or married couples uh, and that's because you know a lot of times we we think things are too expensive or things just out of reach for us. And I want to show people like, it's not that out of reach. Some people are just greedy for money because they're trying to, you know, uh, compete with other people in the world. I'm not here to compete with anyone. I just want to create the world that I want. And one of the things that I want to create in it is luxury, affordable uh, apartment homes for people throughout South Africa and probably this whole continent. And that's something that I'm working on. That's my goal. Every day I go, I look at some real estate, I start pricing some real estate, talk to some realtor people, and just do that. Whether I have the money right now at this moment doesn't matter, but I'm taking action on the goal of the person I want to be. Because a person who doesn't invest in real estate, who's not providing luxury affordable homes for people, are not looking at real estate. And so that was one of the things that microdosing helped me start realizing and start getting my life in order, getting my thoughts in order of how I want to show up in this world. <clears throat> and so that was just one of the thing, thing, ways that microdose has helped me with my self-image. I'm going to be telling you tons more stories. And also, uh, make sure you keep an eye out. I'm going to start, uh, me and my brother, we're going to start a uh, YouTube podcast type channel. What we're talking is going to be called Dose to Dose. And we're talking about microdose. And it's giving you two perspectives. Him as someone who's married with three kids who uh, doses. And me as a guy who used to be married. Uh, now I'm single again. And <laughs> navigating the world's the world of these streets as a single man, but I'm showing you from the perspective of microdosing. I want people to see there are things out here that are natural that can help you, and may be the thing that's missing to help you get to the next step in life that you want to be. But we have to let go of the negative connotations. We have to let go of these negative images that's been force-fed down our mouths each and every day about, oh, this is what someone who does mushrooms look like. Oh, this is a drug. This is what it looked like. It's a lie. Like, <laughs> look how many people now are smoking marijuana and they used to be terrified of it. Because now people realize, wait, we have an endocannabinoid system in our body and marijuana has endocannabinoids. Maybe that can be helpful and it's not just a dangerous thing like uh, the media portrays it. And look at the world now. Most of the places where marijuana is legal is not only bringing in more tax revenue so much to where they're giving the uh, people, the taxpayers money back, but also it's a lot safer areas. People are starting to realize that people are not violent that are smoking marijuana every day. People are not violent that's using mushrooms. People who use mushrooms aren't out here driving, and, like drinking and driving. Like alcohol, which is one of the most dangerous chemicals known to man, is legal. And we have to start changing our perspective. We got to start asking, why are some of the things that make us impaired? Why are some of the things that's slowly killing us are legal? And some of the things that are making us, that could help us get to a better place in life are illegal. And that's a, that's a conversation each of us as an individual have to come, off, come, uh, come across. And I don't want you to think like I'm preaching to you, oh, do mushrooms, do mushrooms, because I'm not. I'm going to tell you straight up, like if you're not ready for it, don't do it. Don't let someone talk you into it. And you also need to do your research on it also. Uh, if you want to do research on it, one of the people that you need to uh, listen to is Paul Stamets. He's the leading researcher on mushrooms. There's not very many people in this world that has more understanding than him. Uh, so 
that's one of the things like if you want to do uh, mushrooms or microdose do your research but if you want to just start working on your self-image you like jason i don't want to you know take mushrooms i'm iffy about that that's cool too and so you can do things just as simple as this like carry around a goal card and really write down your goal and talk about what do you really want focus on that one big thing that you want in life and carry around with you when uh, times are getting uh, tough, when your boss is starting to get on your nerves and still getting angry like usual, just read your uh, goal card and just go to that happy place knowing like, okay, man, once I'm here, I ain't gonna see you ever again, homie. Do that or even do the things of just uh, having a journal and write down who you wanna be, how do you wanna show up in this world. All of these are different little ways to change our uh, self-image. And the thing about it is do it each and every day. One of the biggest things that I'm learning now is that the school system is designed around building self-image. It's supposed to build a self-image so we can be productive, productive members of society. But it lacks free will, meaning it forces us to act a certain way. Sit down and shut up, be quiet, raise your hand. That's not how human beings are supposed to be. We're supposed to be ex expressive, creative people. That's why some of the most richest people in the world are the most creative people in the world. They're the ones who dropped out of school, who stopped doing it. It's because the system is forcing us to get to break our free will. And it's like, oh, we're supposed to act like this. We're not the same. All of us are different individualized people. All of us have different goals, different aspirations in life. And also, all of us have different dreams and things that we just want to achieve and do in life. Like, there's people out here that like going kayaking, you know, scuba diving. Jason don't like that. That's not for me right now. Maybe in about five or 10 years or 20 years. But that's not something Jason want to do right now. But going up, hiking up trails, uh, hiking up some mountains and stuff, not mountain climbing, those are things that Jason want to do. Like I just saw uh, there's a paint and sip uh, this weekend. I'm going to go to that. Like those are the things that I like doing, that, book stuff, jazz stuff, uh, things that's a little bit more laid back. And that's okay because it's what I like to do. And what you like to do is okay also because that's what you like to do. And so really focus on where do you want your self-image to be? Like, sorry if I'm rambling a little because <laughs> I really love this topic because I go real nerd mode into this. But really this, uh, decide what you want to do and try taking one of the, uh, t the two things that I, I suggested, whether it's write down on a gold card and carry it with you, and just read it to yourself several times a day, or start journaling about yourself. I can tell you from personal experience, it's helped me wonders. Like these last, this last two weeks have been life-changing for me, to be honest. Um, there was moments where I was getting depressed again, and I, I know depression. Like, I know what, where I at when I'm feeling depressed. I know what that moment feel like. Um, you know, I went through years of it, suffering from it um, after the military, and I don't like it. I don't like being a depressed person. I like being a happy person. And just to show you, uh, like how I said, one of the things I want to do is, uh, I wrote in my journal, is that I want to be a person that when I, interact with people it changes their life and so like even today uh, when I went to eat a man if you follow my Instagram I ate a delicious tofu scramble with uh, on a croissant vegan all of it delicious man you gotta check out that picture if, if you come to South Africa you need to go to the fussy vegan delicious food that's all I can say but um, eating that and then there was a guy in there um, you know he came in just so he can get some hot water so he can have some coffee then I just saw him looking at the menu. I was like, hey man, you want something? Like, you want something to eat? If you're hungry, let me know. Like, it's a great day. Like, I don't mind paying for it. And he was like, oh, no, no, no. And I was like, it's okay, man. Like, I'm very blessed today. And I felt that way. I'm, today has been a very blessed day for me. And I feel great today. <laughs> and that's the beautiful thing about it. Like, I'm not just saying today's a great day. I'm doing great and I see great things for you. I mean it. Today was a great day for me. I'm doing great. Had an amazing massage. Did a cupping, and she did. The, it was the bloodletting cupping where they take out the toxins. So it was a great day, and I was just enjoying a meal. And so I ended up buying them some biscuits, <laughs> which is cookies. Like, oh man, I'm gonna have to do a whole video about like the English here compared to the English in America because. Man, there's sometimes when I go to places and I'm thinking I'm ordering something and what comes in front of me is nothing what I thought I was ordering. But that's another story. And so I got him some, uh, some chocolate chip uh, biscuits, uh, cookies. And he was like, man, you really just made my day. And I was like, thank you, that just made my day. Like, And then uh, my friend um, Paul, who's uh, who works there, 
he was like, man, you just really changed my life. And like, I know I can, there's more things I can do in the world. And I was like, it really touched me because, I, and I told him, I was like, man, you don't know how much you've been helping me. Like just texting me some days, like, hey, how you doing, brother? Hope you're doing good. You know, a lot of people here are very loving and they don't understand. And I don't let everybody know, hey, my wife passed away, blah, blah, blah. And I, and I told him, I was like, you know, man, it looked like I'm just walking around here happy on cloud nine, but most people don't know, like, I'm going through my own hell right now as a, missing my wife, uh, you know, the person I wanted to spend the rest of my life with. And just like, person I love to do stuff with. Like, if anybody, if you ever experienced me and CC together, you knew it was us. <laughs> it can be a crowd, a room full of people, and it's just gonna be me and her together, just talking, laughing in our own little world. And I miss that. And I told him, I was like, you know, just the love that everyone has been showing me here, like it's really helped me get past and it helped me realize like there's more love that I can share in this world. I can't just hold all the love that I have for her and not share it anymore with other people. And so hope you got some value from this. And uh, just remember, if you want to start working on your self image, you can do one of the things. My favorite is micro dosing combined with uh, I do my gold cards, which I write, I carry with me every day and read it several times a day. And I do my journaling. Um, if you can do any of these things, and remember, if you want to do microdosing, uh, you can hit me up to ask for questions. Um, I can put you in a Facebook group to where it can help get you some more information, and you can hear people, other people that's using it and how it's helping them. But most importantly, do your research. Um, if you have any questions as far as what books to read about microdosing, which people to follow, definitely reach out and let me know because I will share that information with you. Um, and also, if you want to know more information about just how to start working on your self-image, because I do believe this is one of the key things to being successful in life, but most importantly, being happy in life. And so if you'd like any more of the information, please feel free to reach out to me on here on uh, YouTube or even uh, Instagram if you follow me there. It's Jason Chaney, Whole Food Plant Based, WFPB. And see you tomorrow and have a great day.